Hello everyone and welcome to another gear demo. Today we have a very 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 special guest. Please welcome Peter from Scars of a Story. Hey guys. And together with him we're going to be looking at five guitar amplifiers. And in no particular order, order we have PRS MT15, the PV5150 Mark II, the PV6505 MH Mini Head, the Fender EVH5153 and the Mesa Dual Rectifier. The most important thing is that these amps are mostly used for their hot channels. Obviously. So we're gonna hear a lot of distortion today. Yeah, no and clean channels. No clean channels, yeah. And if that is not enough, we're gonna use a tube screamer to make them even hotter. Exactly. So, other than that, we're gonna use the Electro Harmonic Stereo Looper. We're gonna record one single track with it and then we're gonna reamp all the amps with the same track so the dynamic of the playing doesn't change between the amps. As for the recording part we're going to be using uh, two SM57s on uh, two cabinets. We have a Mesa oversized cab the one the only the legendary guy and the cheaper option from Holly Benton the, the cheapest the option, yeah. Cheapest option with V30s. Yeah, this is also v 30 so if you buy the speaker separately, it'll be uh, more expensive than the cabinet itself, so. Yeah, crazy deal. <laughs> if you want to hear our thoughts about those amps, we're going to be talking about them at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Let's get into it. Let's get into it.
So that happened. That was an exhausting night. Yeah, my ears are totally blown out. Completely. So for the record, don't trust anything I say right now about the sound. What? <laughs> but we will try to give you our opinion, even though it's not very relevant. What difference did you hear between the amps? Well, uh, the one that stood out to me the most was the Mesa. It had a completely different tone, a whole nother spectrum than the other guys. And uh, I was really surprised that the PRS was very, very, very similar to the 5150. Exactly. So did not expect that. Yeah, um, I did expect that because Vlad has uh, bought that exactly because it was similar to the, P to the PV, to the 5150. So, my, in my opinion, this one stood like a bit lower in the mix. Um, the others were a bit on the high end, let's say a mid-high, uh, uh, let's say on the high mid part. Um, the two PVs were very similar in my opinion, and the PRS was very close to them. This one was a bit harsher, so the EVH was a bit harsher than the PVs, but it was still in the same uh, brown sound range. The Mesa was like just a lot of balls and you know. So bass, if, bass. if you had to choose one amp out of all of those to keep forever, <laughs> I guess obviously two of them are already yours. But which one would be your favorite after this test? Well, definitely I would stick with my good old 5152. <laughs> this is my all-time favorite amp and it will remain. I mean, I didn't find anything else that sounds better than this for me. But this one sounds similar, so if you have to carry it around, it's much easier to carry that one than this huge amp. This is like, it's a huge difference between them. I liked all of them and uh, my point would be that um, I wouldn't shy away from recording a song with either of those amps. I mean, they all get the job done. I had a small preference towards uh, those three guys, the EVH, the Mesa and the 5150. The smaller ones, I felt like um, they didn't uh, have the same mid-range definition as the other ones. But again, my ears are totally blown out, so yeah, yeah. take that with a grain of salt. My thoughts on the cabinets are that for the price this is a great deal but uh, there's a reason the Mesa is so damn expensive. Definitely. It, in my opinion this is the sound of metal. Definitely. The main difference between the two that I've seen is that this one has a lot of body to it. This one is harsher, has a lot more high end and um, I don't know it's it doesn't, it doesn't stick in the mix as well as the Mesa. 
but it's still a great a great cabinet for the price I mean it's I don't know how many times cheaper than the Mesa so if you're on a budget definitely check this one yeah, out great choice we tried our best to put the microphones in the same position on, the, on both cabinets. Obviously there's a human error in play, but um, yeah, this is as close as we could get. And obviously the tones were the same on both cabinets, we didn't change anything. The guitar take, as Petra said, was the same. And uh, yeah, our idea was to make this comparison as uh, even and uh, fair as possible for all the amps. Exactly. Uh, we didn't, we tweaked the tones of each amp a little bit to um, something that we thought sounded a bit better. So they're not flat, but uh, they're pretty close to flat so you can get an idea of how the amp is voiced. Exactly, exactly. So we only, we only added a bit of uh, high end where it was needed and took up, out a bit of mids if there were too many but all in all we tried to stick to as close as possible to uh, to mid of every of each and every knob so I think, yeah i think that wraps everything up about our shootout hopefully you found this video useful make sure to check out peter's channel link in the description and somewhere up there whatever i'll figure that out and uh yeah don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, tell us, tell us down in the comments what you thought about those ants, which one was your favorite and why. And uh, yeah, until next time, rock and roll! Bye guys.